Welcome to PP18, the Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates for the International Telecommunication Union. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Amr Talat, who is Minister of Communications and Information Technology for Egypt. Dr. Talat, welcome to the studio. Thank you for receiving me. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you about the fact that there's considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, or ICTs, as an enabler for good, for development and for the benefit of people, families, communities and nations. And what is your personal perspective on this? Well, I was delighted when I first took this job, uh, but, uh, when, I, when I felt the consensus of all my peers in, in different organs of the Egyptian government on the pivotal role of ICT in embracing Egypt's current challenges uh, and uh, problems. Poverty, financial inclusion, uh, education, health. Uh, they, they, everybody realizes the, the role of ICT uh, in all these challenges. So we're currently embarking on several very, very important projects uh, uh, in all these aspects. Uh, we're, uh, we're working to launch uh, a comprehensive health insurance project uh, by, by next year for in a, one of our pivotal cities. Uh, we're also working on uh, fiber to schools uh, to uh, uh, improve uh, the education system. We've just finished uh, the first uh, two stages of uh, the unified uh, database uh, project that lends a 360 uh, degree uh, uh, of the Egyptian digital citizen, uh, which helps improve uh, our vision on the eligibility of uh, our citizens on uh, their entitlement to uh, social uh, security uh, projects. So all these uh, projects and all these programs uh, serve uh, as a great testimonial to the role of ICT uh, in our digital, new digital society. Well, very worthy and necessary projects. The Plenipotentiary Conference is the first since the world agreed on the Sustainable Development Goals in 2015. I wanted to ask you, perhaps you could provide some examples of how ICTs are helping to drive sustainable development in Egypt. It is indeed uh, helping in, in uh, many, many ways. Uh, I'll just pick one or two for the sake of time. Uh, electronic design is one of the areas where uh, uh, Egyptians uh, are uh, working uh, with a lot of focus on enhancing our capability in designing uh, electronic uh, circuits and uh, then have them manufactured and, and back to Egypt uh, to be installed in different uh, devices. We're also uh, working uh, on training and building capacity uh, and, and ensuring the, the, the closure of the digital gap uh, as you may uh, call it, the, the, the skill gap between uh, the, the new graduates and uh, the demands of the uh, labor market. Uh, we're also uh, working uh, on several projects where ICT will be the, the, the key and pivotal route uh, for uh, the recipient of such digital services for the Egyptian uh, cities. Now, as we know, about half the world's population are connected to the internet the other half uh, is not. What is Egypt doing to get everyone connected? Well, Egypt uh, has a very uh, unique uh, position in this respect. We're the second largest country in terms of uh, terrestrial and submarine cables spotting uh, through its soil and, 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 and seas. So we're bound to uh, use uh, this uh, privilege, if I may call it, uh, in order to enhance connectivity. Uh, we've, uh, we've improved from 46% from to 64% in terms of house, households with a computer. Uh, we're determined to uh, escalate even further uh, on this route. Uh, in terms of mobile penetration, it, it, it reached 99.5%, uh, so we're almost there. In terms of internet uh, connectivity, we're at 46%, so we still have uh, a, a room to grow. Uh, we're uh, we're uh, working uh, seriously on uh, fiber to the home projects uh, across the country. We're also leveraging uh, new technologies uh, in MSANS in order to uh, enhance speed and incre increase uh, the number of houses connected and, and uh, citizens connected. 
finally, we've got a very special audience tuning into this. I wanted to ask you, have you got a message for participants here at PP18 and also the wider audience uh, in uh, their home countries? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, uh, the, the last uh, Global competitive, uh, Competitiveness Report has just been issued by the uh, uh, World Bank and I find Egypt uh, market 24 uh, out of 140 countries in the world. So it is a uh, very ripe and promising uh, market with a lot of potential. I uh, call on uh, investors to come and visit us. That's wonderful, Will. Thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio and we look forward to catching up with you again in the future. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.